Okay, good morning. Uh, this is the last update for the month of July for the Harmony Protocol team. Uh, this week, at least for me, I've been working um, in San Francisco. Um, I just got home today and uh, the week consisted of basically uh, getting the Q3 initiatives all lined up, um, working with the team over there to uh, get HIP, what we're going to call HIP 31, uh, finalized. And um, yeah, I'm just uh, working with the team and, and getting everybody aligned. So um, Sun and it looks like Max is absent. So um, just going to kick it off and uh, go with uh, Constantine. Uh -huh. Hi, hello. Yeah, well, I hear you. Uh yeah, uh, so uh, we had a discussion this week on Monday, and we have some concerns um, about uh, the limitation and pass uh, leadership to a list of the dead validators. Uh, to prevent this, uh, in context of uh, uh, leader rotation, uh, we can check uh, aliveness of uh, next uh, validator. For example, how he uh, signed uh blocks and in context of uh new chain which uh, um currently uh it works uh, like uh when no new blocks uh, we start from change uh, and we set next leader and check uh, leaders one by one for example we can uh, send uh, multiple requests at the same time so with uh, uh uh, with multiple leaders and uh, maybe it will be faster but anyway uh the change is not a part of uh, the adaptation and uh, for the adaptation i already have a, a pr uh, that checks uh, aliveness of uh, next uh, leader and uh, i'm going to update it because it's really old uh, and I guess uh, uh, this is how we can uh, not to pass uh, rotation to our dead validators. Awesome. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we had a good discussion on, I think it was Monday. Um, I kind of updated the team with this due date, but that was a little bit before that meeting. So um, if you have just some time, maybe just like give another estimate on on that um i think um i didn't see any um of the any prs that we need to kind of go over from you so okay thanks thanks constantine um adam guy is on here too Amy? yeah I'm continuing my work from state um, of the, the account abstraction. I actually not had a chance to touch um, the test for the state pruning yet. My plan is to do that today before we close out the week. Uh, very simple stuff. I just got to run several tests, just clear out state uh, after replaying a bunch of transactions on my local test machine. That's all I plan to do, but it's taking me a little while to get around to that. But uh, once I got some tests hammered out, I'll reach out to the rest of the team and kind of make sure we're to run all the tests that we want to before we go ahead and sign off on this. Um, and I am running everything off of main ever since we did the uh, the merge uh, from release. Nice. Um, yeah, I've actually seen a couple like bundler um, repositories out there, especially like the one that they released during ETH Denver. And I, I'm not sure like um, how much of that we can use, but some of it looks good. Some of it's kind of like um, <laughs> rough around the edges, I guess is like the best way to put it, but um yeah yeah i'm assuming a lot of the bundlers the bundlers that are work in progress that we could use are open license um i haven't really dove in to make sure like we could actually use them but yeah i got like three or four that i'm playing with right now one's east infinitism what i think is moving the furthest along with uh the kind of trash of the ip um so right now i'm kind of using them as a basis yeah i think that was the one that they did at eat denver um if i'm not mistaken so so a lot of that's kind of having to just making sure that we. I think we lost you. <laughs> no worries. Um, 
cool. Oh, I accidentally closed the window. Sorry. <laughs> a lot of that has to do with making sure that we could actually use the bundler with our API um, because it was basically you purpose for for, uh, for guests. Um, but I think as long as there's some similarities within our uh, within the JSON API, um, it should be a good. Guys, I've not really done a lot of testing with it yet. Awesome. And and um, a side note, that was a that was a pretty good video that you guys uh, put together with you and Steven. I thought it was all right. You know, it was I kind of like it. a um, you know. I'm not very good at coming up with that stuff like on the fly. You know, it was kind of a really big exercise, but I, I'm glad it turned out okay. Don't ever read the YouTube comments, though. Yeah. We're getting dragged. Oh, oh geez. No, then you got to go to Reddit after that. Um, <laughs> it kind of gives me some confidence to do it, too, because, like, I'm not, like, really the best at uh, video uh, content myself, and I, I kind of avoid it, so... Um, hey, if you can do it, maybe I can do it too. So, I'm surprised you don't have one out there already. Oh no, I've uh, I've I've uh, I put a stop to any request. <laughs> um, awesome, I, I appreciate you, Adam. Thanks, man. Um, Gaius, I saw your PRs this morning, man. They uh, they're looking good with the pruning. Uh, yeah. Uh actually uh in i had a lot of issues with the uh, with the uh, ci cd with travis and most of the prs that i sent they were failing so i was going through the code and see what is the problem with the uh with the travis i i mean i had a lot of discussion with solve we uh check all the codes we did some changes we found some issues, but uh, uh, luckily they were just uh, cosmetic things. I mean, they don't affect anything else on the on the test. So we fixed those issues also. So today, uh, also, I could finally I could get access and and rebuild the uh, the client new functionality PR and. Uh, it was already i mean it is ready to merge with the dev that one thing that i this is this pr i needed to be merged as soon as possible because i need those functionality uh which we need to deploy them all of them to devnet and later i can use those functionality to test the state sync uh, on the state sync yeah. I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt, but isn't this uh, PR just like not changing the branch though? So wouldn't it just be doing main? Uh, no. Oh, it, oh, oh, this it, is on the the Harmony test. I see. Yeah, yeah, that was on the Harmony test. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So basically, the issue was uh, we were move, we were uh, uh, going to one of the directories, one of the folders, which is for the Harmony test. But from there, we are uh, doing the Git checkout to another branch which is not belong to this uh, repository. The, that branch that we are checking out to it, it, it is for the Harmony repository, not for the Harmony test. So, and, and even we don't need to do that. Yeah, even we don't need to do that because already the, I and Sophie checked a lot, we discussed a lot on it. Already the Travis is on that branch, so we don't need to checking out on that branch. Uh, I just removed those part and, uh, but it is not, uh, I mean, it's just like something that, uh, doesn't affect anything. Uh, yeah. And, and then on the, on the state thing, uh, I'm ready to start my tests. I guess I, I draft the PR already. And as we, uh, merge the client functionality with the dev and be deployed to devnet i'm ready to do some tests on the state sync couple of things i need to test on the state sync uh as we deploy i will start those tests and yeah we had a lot of discussion many to, uh, many discussion with the soap and uh and constantine on the issue in stream on, on the thinking and then this issue 
is one of the nodes always get ish, get stuck on on devnet uh it is complaining about the some some of the blocks block number so uh, constantine also did one pr for that we checked that one also and with solve uh we believe it should be something about the uh, short range and maybe we are not updating something or or somehow the communication between the string sync and the consensus is broken somewhere that we don't know but the weird thing is only one node always and uh, other nodes is working so that that one also we got a lot of uh, discussion with so we did some changes we removed we upgrade all the node to the latest version and removed all the dht file from the boot nodes we restart the boot nodes and then later we restart other nodes to make sure if it is something related to the dht files or the to the uh, node discovery but that one also didn't help after a few hours again no the suck on on the block so uh that one also we worked on it and uh I have no idea right now uh, what what else should be rather than the testing on the uh, short range. If and then uh, maybe if I get any free time, uh, I will double check all the codes on the on the stream thing to see if we can do uh, some sort of uh, working with the cache with the with the last mile blocks cache and see. How it, how it works yeah that's all uh, from my side awesome um yeah it looks really good um so far i was just checking it out uh, a lot of this was, is i think believe reused it's the same um code from the uh geth right uh yeah, if you're in go. Not, this is which pr this is the this on the uh, the fast sync Oh, for the fast thing, only in the DB side, only on the DB side, there is a function to fetch the states. That one, it is, it is a part of a part of that uh, at DB. But rather than that, other parts all is uh, we we implement that it is not from the from the Ethereum. But the idea of the how the fasting works is given from Ethereum, but the Ethereum is not doing in the way that we are doing because the one that i'm doing is, is kind of using a stage sync for the fast sync so it's doing yeah. the fast thing in different stages that's not how the ethereum is seen. yeah do you have an estimate of um like how much improvement the a, a new node not actually i just waiting for the deployment the new client and i do the test on the devnet one of the things that I think I decided I was wrong about it at the beginning. I wanted to do it on the DNS thing, but later I saw if I do it on a stream thing, it's better because eventually we are moving to a stream sync even on the mainnet. But now it is on the stream thing for in case of testing, it's very hard for me. If it was on the DNS thing, simply I can run one node, yeah, and then I just use the DNS and see how it works. But now it's on a stream sync, and a stream sync already is blocked, uh, is broken because of that issue that I just mentioned. So yeah. the testing of this PR is very hard now. I don't know. Uh, somehow I don't know. Maybe I first I move, I jump on the working on the issue of the stream sync. If that one fix, then I am able to test this, or I need to find out how how to test uh, all of those fast sync is there a particular order that some of these prs might need to be pushed up um that might help that process because i see like uh, yeah yeah for sure the the one of the prs is about the uh, uh, new functionality adding the yeah this pr that you see the with a blue line up at the left new functionality yeah for stage team client yeah, this one this is the pr that i need to be deployed because this PR adds all of the functionality that the state thing needs. And then I can 
then I'm able, the nodes are able to talk to each other and ask and request for the states or the seats, which is we need it for the state thing. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so that one's in, and then I see, yeah, there's a couple of these ones too, but yeah, these look good. Awesome. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, do you have anything, Stoff? I appreciate you coming on. Uh, no, not nothing for me. Um, the the upgrade for twenty eight twenty three dot two dot four is going well. I think uh, yeah. uh, one hundred fifty percent of validators already did the update. So um, you have one week left before the uh, hard fork epoch. So uh, I'll be doing that regular reminder now in the network announcement channel, and also have to reach out to. Um, validators, but uh, remember that we also need to have the uh, partners uh, with the with their RPC node uh, that needs to be updated as well. So that that would be the only thing that maybe we have to do some push uh, any communication. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I think that time frame is has worked out really well, and um, I think that one week should be probably fine. I think it works out. Um, is there any like critical partners that maybe I should like pass the word to? I mean, I'm sure you've you've communicated that um, with the rest of the team as well. But is there anything, any critical partners that you haven't seen that has updated their RPC or anything? So we won't be able to do unless yeah. we really go and check ourselves, right? Uh, but I do hope that they are checking our network announcement channel. Okay, so I <laughs> I I didn't get. The, the, the time yet to go and check the RPC because I don't want to do that, to be honest. But, you know, uh, I guess uh, if they have any problem at the hard fork date, their community will tell them, hopefully, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm trying to encourage everyone, including our partners, to join our Discord and subscribe to our network announcement channel. Okay. The good thing with Discord is that if, if the team or the partner has their own Discord server, they, they could have that notification that has to happen. Yeah. That's the beauty of the Discord announcement channel because yep. uh, at, the, at the end of the post, I can just do a publish and it will be published to all uh, the uh, Discord server who are subscribed to it. So I would really encourage everyone that listen to us to you know uh, subscribe to that network announcement channel. Yeah, that's I think one of the greatest features of Discord is that cross um, communication between channels and um, an announcement. So, yeah, that's a yeah. great. I, I kind of like didn't really think about that too much and to leverage that. So, yeah, that's awesome. Yep. Um, cool. Well, in a short meeting, I know some of you it's getting late, so um, I appreciate the rest of your time. Um, I'm going to be out, I think, most of the next week just at um, ECC, but I think. I'm still planning to do a meeting on Thursday, but if not, um, we can either take the week off or um, someone else can um, can handle the the meeting. But I will figure that out as time gets closer. So, all right, guys. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll see you out there. Thank you very much, everyone. Bye bye.